So. All right, YouTube, we're here for another league of mono black zombies. Let me drop from this one. I'm just, I'm, I'm over it. Deck had like one few less lands. So let's try this. So we added a land, cut a contempt, cut the. 6-6 six, six demon and then put another metallic mimic in and into the sideboard I cut I moved one Vraska's Contempt to the sideboard cut the Gaunty and the Eldest Reborns and put in two Bloodfasts so we're going to try this out I'm excited to try this here been live for almost four hours the Sims are gone, Rafi. They were this morning. So we have 24, 25 lands, 24 lands left in the deck. If we go runner, runner, then we're gonna like, we're really set up. I think I'm gonna keep this because I have two one mana plays. This tree. You're too, Rafi, you can't be lazy and sleep all day. You have to actually get up. You're too lazy, Rafi. <laughs> Canyon slow. All right. We need lands off the top. I should have played my Diagrat Ghoul, so if they have a Magma Spray, they might have sprayed the Ghoul. Not this Dread Wanderer. we draw land, we can go double one drop into Death Baron, which is going to be pretty sweet. We'll probably play the Lord of the Accursed. Incoming Gwensley Siphoner, looks like. Yeah. Tilt. This one's my fault. This is not the deck's fault, certainly, with this land problem. Like I decided to keep a one lander with two one mana plays and 24 lands to draw to and it just didn't quite happen. Whirler Virtuoso, that's a being. God. Okay. Just keep passing. At least I can block this siphoner. Nikki be me, man. Just do it. I will ditch this Liliana's Mastery like it's got no business being here. I probably would not keep his hand in like a higher stakes thing, but I'm just wondering if like it is okay to do something like this. Probably beaten. Okay. Spray that. Surprisingly, didn't go like spray this, make a token block that. <laughs> like, that's what I would have done. Cause like I'm not anywhere close to getting my, getting my guy back. Oh, medieval! Thank you very much. People should be like people should be like him or her, so that I can hit up there and get my goal there. All right, we need a land. Probably gonna. I mean, this is like scare god. We're good. Yeah, we're just gonna scoop to the god. So I think I, I really want to be aggressive on the play. I don't really want to side in a lot of removal. Like, these graveyard marshals have not seemed super great. I kind of want to just bring in, like, this, this, this. I want to cut some of my pushes. Maybe bring in, like, another Contempt. <clears throat> 
and try this on the play. And then on the draw sideboard much differently. I think this deck has a lot of play draw sideboarding. Like you want you you want like a like a real beat down draw on the play. So maybe the blood fasts aren't even right. I should keep the graveyard marshals in. God, this has been so tough. We're gonna keep this. Like, and we just need to draw nothing but lands, basically. We have 25. We worked on that. Put it on the bottom. Should have played the Diagraph Ghoul, I think. Okay. Land. Play this. I'm going to play the Ghoul this time. Puppy Philly's got all kinds of energy this morning. Ooh, they're going to blood fast? Okay. We're just absolutely ruined by a Whirler Virtuoso here. Like, Whirler just blocks a creature, token eats a Dread Wanderer. That's surprising they didn't... Uh, I guess. Okay. Jeez. All right. Dread Wanderer, Dire Ghoul, you have to go the whole way. What an unfortunate showing. I mean, the first one was my fault, but... All right. But what an unfortunate showing. Contempt one... We're also 10 cards in. We haven't seen the second land, which is <clears throat> annoying, but that is magic. What sucks is that we don't even have a very good follow-up. Like, even if we draw land here, we're not doing anything. Jesus. At least we drew a million one-drops so that we could keep playing <coughs> and doing stuff. So that is something. This is just where like blood fast is just gonna clean up for my opponent. Now they have Hulk, blood fast, removal spell. Yeah, we're we're just we're good. We're good. We're good. That's frustrating. But like that's that's magic. That is magic. There they are. There's both of them. I really like this deck, but man, have I just had some serious mana problems in these five get matches I've played with it. It's all of it on the side of too little. We finally have enough lands. Alright. We're going to keep something on top to fill our curve. Don't want that. <clears throat> Would you ever try elves? Also, Wimbledon Finals made me cry. I'm not sure I'm, I'm in the market for elves. 
because I just don't know enough about the deck. I haven't seen it put up results. Like, I don't have, I don't necessarily have like a super amount of time, Archmage. So this is kind of like the big game here. If we can play, if we can beat a, um, I'm gonna do it like this so that our Metallic Mimic doesn't get Chain Whirlered. Is if we can beat the red-black deck. Because while I think this deck might be sweet, it's uh, had some 5 O's. That's all that it's done, though. I haven't seen the elves in the 5 O's either. And, like, I've played against zombies, and it's, and it's whipped me. So, you know, take that as you want. So, yeah, I guess I've, I've played against it. So, we're going to get Chain Gang here. Soul Scar Mage plus Chain Gang definitely puts a beating on Liliana's Mastery. my phone's tanking about. I'm going to grab some coffee while I'm thinking. What are you going to do while you're What? Is that because he wants to do a hard and you don't want to do a hard? Not going to block. Because, like, they just, we block, they lightning strike us, and then we're dead. We're at 17, and they eat our creature. We're at 16, 14, they eat a creature, which isn't good. So they're the lower to the ground version. Is this going at me? This is all just going at me. So this is nine. Jesus. Just gotta hope they don't have another wizard's lightning or lightning strike. All right. Well, I didn't quite expect that to happen. To get hit with eight points of burn, which turned these into. Four fours. What a beating. So against mono red, I probably want to count my italic mimics. Maybe my diagraph rules and bring in like walk the planks and Veraska's contempt. Probably Liliana's not very good. Maybe bring in like one Doomfall. Let's try this. <clears throat> we should be able to... I think we should be able to beat up on a deck... I guess, like... I would think of this deck as decent against Mono Red. Because you just get bigger than it. You know, like, you just kind of manhandle it. Which is it kind of like the same reason that Mono Red had an issue like history banalia but soul scar mage plus chain whirler definitely gives them a lot of a lot of play I would like to play first. 
I'm going to keep this. A little slow, but we've got our mana. We have our two removal spells. There's Bowmat. Probably just gonna kill his Bowmat because I want to just be playing creatures. So I don't really have the time to just kind of mess around with my mana or with like not use my mana because I just want to curve out. Okay, there's Soulscar Mage. Now I kind of just want to Doomfall because I don't want to get my I don't want to get Wizard Lightninged. And I also just don't want to get, like, my hand is set up to a place where we're going to be able to play around Chain Whirler. I don't want to get Soul Scar Mage plus Chain Whirler. Like, that's going to be hard to handle. We can land this. I think we're in good shape because this thing's just huge. I, don't, I really want to save this for like a hazard. Okay, lava runner. Let's play this. This lets us get Chang Gang next turn, but at least we get to double spell. Like they're gonna Wizards Lightning the Lord, then Chain Whirler the Dread Wanderer, and if we hit a land, if we hit a land, we can play Liliana's Mastery, and then be in pretty good shape. Nothing weird. Okay, so let's get in here. Kind of mopey to like only use one of four of my mana, but I don't think that. I mean, I could. Like my opponent could go like Wizards Lightning, Wizards Lightning, attack with a Hazaret. But I think that's. I think. I think it's a little. I think it's a little unlikely. Okay, Harvest is pretty good. I wouldn't mind um, contempting a harvester. That's in my range. I don't really like this attack unless my opponent has. Yeah. Jeez. So now I'm probably going to just Veracity's contempt anything and draw, and then hopefully draw a land. At least not a lord. Probably just kill my lord here, not the dread wanderer. Yeah, this makes chain whirler still a pretty live draw. Game over. My opponent looks like they had a pretty reactive draw, not very aggressive. Okay, 
Okay, so lightning one. Get two more in play. <coughs> I'm gonna play this land. I guess there's no reason to actually play that besides I've got I don't have anything to bring back. Get that out of here. Okay. So if we can get to our masteries, we're pretty solid. I don't think I want to change anything else. I might want to bring in one more Doomfall on the draw. And maybe cut like one Mastery, because it might be a little slow. Yeah, we'll try that. All right, we have to go two, three, four. So I just hope we don't get run over. And my creatures rumble play pretty well. How's it going? It's Ortiz. Well, it's afternoon for me. I'm not sure where you are. Okay, so this bow mat's going to do some serious work. Okay. My aunt lives in Mill Valley, California. My wife's cousin lives in L.A. Okay. Odds of this blocking are like 3%, but... Yeah, I mean, we saw that coming. Storm. Goddamn storm. What a beating. So I kind of just have to get rid of this Bowmat Courier and then hope they don't have a follow-up. I think. Because they don't have a follow-up, then we're, in, we're not in good shape. But I can then contempt something else, gain two life, draw on a land, and then double spell on two. And th th this is like... This is going to make, you know, like these two are going to synergize well with each other. It's okay, like, a 1-1 one, one Legacy because it drew three chalices and empty the ones for six. You play Storm in Legacy, Archmage? Zombies is okay. It's like, I don't know, like, it's obviously very, it's really good against other creature decks because it gets really big. The problem is it's just kind of clunky. It's supposed to be a 1 Once again, we just hope that they have nothing. You play Goblins Legacy? Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yep. 
We just got run over there. Maybe I'm supposed to mulligan that hand to a fatal push. Probably. But just got ran over. I like this deck, but the problem is, is that it just might not be flushed out enough. Like, there just might not be enough, um, enough cards for it. We have drawn very poorly in the middle four games I played. We just didn't hit land drop, so I ended up cutting a couple cards to get to go to the 25th land. Removed a removal spell from the main deck. But we've already got, we have eight one-drop creatures and seven two-drop creatures. And I don't think, I mean, you could go, I guess you could go harder on, um, you could go harder on Metallic Mimics. I don't know what you would cut. Or you could go like the Scrappy Scrounger plan. What's the supplier? I just took his deck from a 5-0 league. You could get leaner and play Scrappy Scrounger. I'll keep my hand. Stitcher's supplier. Oh, you're talking about the uh, the one drop zombie? That would make the deck like super low to the ground, which might be good. That that one's seen play all the way back in like legacy and legacy. Okay, no place in the opponent's nice. We're going to run this Metallic Mimic. Okay, now we're going to play Dread Wanderer. I don't want to get this Metallic Mimic killed. Yeah, that makes sense. But we have the synergy, it's just bigger. And maybe the bigger is just not better. Champion of Wits, you got it. So now we're going to play Metallic Mimic while they're tapped out, I think. Well, now I'm going to play the Death Baron because we can go double two drop next turn. And I don't want to trade my Dead Wanderer for this Champion of Wits. Mm hmm. So, Nikki. We can discard a land. I think discarding a land is right. So now we just go zombie. And this goes zombie. And we pass. And now we're just in a position to really overwhelm our opponent as long as they don't like scare God me. You do have a point, Archmage. These Liliana's Masteries have been really good if we get there. We just have not got there. If we draw land here, we're in a good shape, though. We did. So let's... So these come in as, like, 5-5s. Five they come in as 6-6s. Six Holy shit. All right, so they did have a push. We're going to attack with the Dread Wanderer. And then we're just going to start turning like everything sideways next turn. I think you you probably wreck these Grixis decks with these Zombies decks. You just have too much, like, too many aggressive creatures. I also don't think these Grixis decks are very good. I'm not a very good standard player. Like, I don't play too, too much, but... I have not been impressed. So I kind of want to play both of these before combat in order to get the Metallic Mimic trigger and then just turn like all my creatures sideways. Except the Death Barton, Death Baron.
I could trade. I could attack with a Death Baron. Makes my creatures a little smaller. These all, but no, the Death Baron is Death Touch, which is like the big nail in the coffin. Okay, I guess this was stupid. I'm not now. I'm not playing well. I'm just looking to like attack with everything. So they go like eat here, chump chump. It was the one I didn't want to get in combat for this reason. I guess I misspoke, Archmage. It's just like, I think you have to play this card because the first one of these, like, puts you, like, stabilizes or like, puts you, like, in the board, and then the second one just, like, wins you the game. Doomfall, Exile, the token. Because if this gets killed, then I can bring it back with Graveyard Marshal. That's pretty good. So can I do this as an instant? Yeah, so I might as well just swing out and exile both of my Mimics. Make some zombies. Yeah, that sucks. Metallic Mimic. Metallic Mimic. I think I'm going to be able to return the Wanderer whenever I want, right? Now that we're top decking. Yeah, I was looking to just beat. Yeah, that's what I... Like, I wanted to attack with the Marshal. Or just keep putting the pressure on them. Before they can, like, somehow set up a Scarab God. So I don't... I don't think I want my pushes. Like, if it's Glensleeve Siphoner, that's kind of it. And maybe I don't want Lordly Curse. Like, I'm kind of interested in Liliana. I'm interested in these Veraska's Contempts. And, like, Ruin Raider... Or Bloodfast. So, like, I have too many cards I want to bring in. So I really probably can only bring in, like, four of these. I think I want this. This. And this because they attack. And it's, like, the next best card's probably Bloodfast. I could board out like a Lord of the Accursed for a Bloodfast. Or maybe like. But we don't know. I don't even know if this deck's a very good Bloodfast deck. I want to see if how it is the Bloodfast in a mid range matchup. Ship this. The scavenger ground has been so awkward. Keep this. All right, put that on top. We go one, two, which is a good way to start. No, oh, no, can't play that one. Right, this is good. I think so too. I think you should just like try to kill, try to attack the God Pharaoh's gift decks with um, with like yeah. I, I think we just want to attack the God Pharaoh's gift decks with um with duresses. 
and then just try to like beat over the top of their creatures, I think. Yeah, that's what I think. Okay, I mean, at least we're going to be able to cast... Like, we're going to be able to have a good curve. Like, we're going to be able to go 4 and a 5, which is good. Not hitting a 3-drop there kind of sucks. They're foregoing red mana, which is interesting. If they Nikki B me, I might just ditch this Liliana. Because... Okay, Siphoner... Oh man, now we get to kill something with this. Oh wait, no, I can't do this. Because if they kill my dread wand, no, I can't do that. Yeah, because if they kill this dread wanderer, that was stupid. I should have thought about that more. I should have played this. Yeah, I should have thought about this more because. If I would have gone minus and they would have nugged my Dread Wanderer, then I wouldn't have killed this Glinsley Siphoner and they would have killed my Liliana. So I think I was too sketchy doing that. I just wasn't thinking about it. But we can go, we can definitely go like now Liliana's Mastery into minus on this, into next turn play Death Baron plus something. Or we can just keep plussing. Champion of Wits, okay. I kind of want to just keep plussing. Me too. In aggro decks, being, being able to like mana efficient double spell is really important. Like next turn, we're going to be able to do some good work here. Now I'm going to hit this Glint Sleeve Siphoner. So. And I'm not going to attack with the Dread Wanderer. Yeah. Because I don't want to trade it for this champion. If my opponent's pushing these, then we're in good shape. And we have just a super turn next turn. Okay, so they're their own Liliana. So they're going to get back Nikki B, which is a bit tough. We're probably going to ditch our Graveyard Marshal. Because I think, like, getting a Lord that can attack into this... Like, you make it so both creatures can attack Nikki B is probably pretty important. Or attack Liliana, and they have to trade with Bolas. That's really good. So we're doing this no matter what. So let's play this. Name Zombies. Then we're going to send both of these at Liliana. My opponent might just go chump. No, nah, they're not going to go chump chump. That's not worth it because then they can't get this Liliana off the board. I have another Dread Wanderer in my graveyard, which is sweet. Another land that can flip their Bolas, which is pretty solid for them. We just have so many draws just absolutely win us the game next turn. Like, it's like, what do they kill? Because if they don't kill this Mimic, then I get back this Dread Wanderer that's a 5-5. Five, five. I would have rather minus Liliana cast two zombies from my graveyard. Well, it's minus three, right? Then plus it. Yeah, we plussed it. Plus one. Because we went from three to one, then we went up, and then we nugged them for two.
Yeah. If Liliana was like minus one, that would be sweet. If you could like minus one to bring back a creature, like Ashiok. Okay, so they flip this. Probably hit our Metallic Mimic. Or they can bring back a creature from my... They probably bring back... Well, they don't have... They can bring back the Graveyard Marshal and then start working that. But I think killing this Metallic Mimic is pretty important when I can, on the board, get a Dreadwander, like put a 5-5 five five into play for three mana next turn. Though a 4-4 four four might not be much better. Yeah. Jeez. So I guess we do all this before we attack... And then do we just get Nikki off the board? Yeah, we probably just like three, six, then we've got, they block one of this, take six, then we've got, I think we're gonna beat it though. So the question is, do we attack it? We probably just attack my opponent. Well, the problem is that they can bring back this Death Baron and then, like, make a bunch. So I think I'm just going to attack Nicol Bolas. Or Nickelball SPHD. <laughs> it's gonna be the shambling corpse corpses, it looks like. So I think they're just dead, right? Block here, they need to hit land fatal push. Because they are dead on the board with this with this play. So they got land, they're, they're, they're repping land push. We finally missed on a draw step. All right, so we're just swinging it all at them. Like push this, block here, take six. Or just like don't have it. Nope, they just didn't have it. Okay. So the next time I play this, I want to cut these two scavenger grounds and make these just swamps. Then I don't exactly know because like I'm not sold on these blood fasts. I'm not sold like there's a chance that maybe they should just be doomfalls because we're not we don't have like the time really to um to blood fast because of how clunky the deck is. But it also doesn't have any mana sinks. Probably. But he's got to come down sometime. I really like this deck. I'm not really sure how to build it though. All right, freaking scavenger grounds.
I would think we have a good Woodland Cemetery matchup. Deck sucks. Like the fact that we need such a high link out. Yes, they have great payoffs. Okay, so I'm thinking that we should just either nug this attacker. We probably should either nug this, crack for six. And then just start deadlandsing our opponent or nug their this thing. Because they have a land coming. I kind of just want to take out their blocker. Then we can just deadlands them for the rest of the game. No. It does turn on Graveyard Marshal, but, like, I kind of want to beat. Uh-oh. So all the beating has stopped. And this game is over. Because we got Galta. Though Galta is... Um, we can block it with our with our skeletons. So let's take out the servant. Real problem to me is Ronus. How are you doing, Rob? I think we're in trouble. We might be. One second, Meg. Be right back. What's up? I'm in my fourth match. Party. If I lose this one, I'm Okay. Yeah. So this blocks, I kind of want to block with the Death Baron. So two, one, two, three, pump, 15 plus eight. 15 plus eight is 18, minus two is 16. So we are just kind of like dying a slow death, but, because this means I can start to create more blockers. I don't really see how we're gonna win, but. Let's go like this. <clears throat> uh, this deck does feel really good, but it just feels like it's like off somehow. Oh God, that was dumb. Yeah, we're just, we're super dead. I was zoned out there. It gives the other ones that touch, which, like, I always never pay attention to. <clears throat> I'm not great at playing formats I'm not used to. 
for sure. Um, so I wonder if mastery is just too slow. Because like while we're mastering, they're playing Galta, which kind of makes sense. Maybe we can go something like this. I want to try this. Especially on the play, I want to be aggressive. Scavenger of rounds has got to go. All right, we can go one, two. I'd like to see like a fatal push here. Probably in the market for another contempt. kind of hand that's probably going to lose to like one blossoming defense. <clears throat> Alright, there's Steel Leaf Champion. Alright, well at least we know that we're going to be able to um... At least we know we're going to be able to cast our Vraska's Contempt next turn. We just have to pray to God my opponent doesn't have a... Um, okay, Harvester with Blossoming Defense mana. Okay, nice. So now we're definitely just going to Contempt this thing. And we're not attacking. Lord's a good draw. So we're going to be able to outpower our opponent here as long as they don't drop a Galta on us. Because eventually we're just going to be able to deal with this Harvester. And they just have Land War Elves left over. I mean, they've got plenty of probably other stuff to do. God, that thing, this thing is so good against this deck. Now we probably like unfortunately we have to hold up this push here. Maybe this deck's just not good, and I, I just want it to be good. Like I like what it's doing, but it's just like a couple cards off. Scrap each scrounger, okay. Which sucks, but it might just be the truth. One time, no contempt, or no blossoming defense. Yeah, we're just like, we're just super dead. Maybe I just want this deck to be good and it's not good. Cause like, it's got those draws that are just like unreal, you know? Like if you go like one, two, three, four, five, then it's really good. Or like one, you know, if you just hit up the curve that it's unstoppable, but you just don't curve, you don't curve that well. <clears throat> Anyways, I think that's going to be it for me today. Um, I think the Zombies deck has got some potential, but I just, I don't know. Like maybe it's just too clunky. Like I want it to be good, but it just does not seem that great. We're going to send you guys over to Matt Folks. 